Hey everybody, Craig Cottle with Nature Reliance School, guest instructor with DanceDepot.com. I brought some rope with me today and I wanted to show you how to make some easy to make knots and we're going to take the time to show you some practical applications for those as well. So you can utilize this for rope or paracord or whatever it is that you might have in a survival situation. But I'm going to show these with rope because they're going to be easy to show on camera and easier for you to see the knots. But keep in mind you can use this on any type of cordage. If you've ever done anything in the outdoors you know, uh, whether it's fishing or camping or hunting or survival methodology or whatever it is that you're studying or playing with, is that almost anybody can tie a knot. It's just can you tie a knot and get it undone easily such that your rope can be used again. So what we've done is we've bought some fairly inexpensive rope, um, basically in this color, so we're hoping that it shows up really well on camera so you see the things that we're doing. And what we want to try to emphasize for you is that we're going to use this as a tool in such a way that we can use it again. So we're going to tie knots that we can easily untie and then utilize the rope again after we're done. Sometimes using a rope you don't actually have to use a knot. So one of the easiest ways to utilize this rope is to simply put it in such a place and around the object that you're going to utilize it against to put tension on it. So what I'm going to do is take this rope and wrap it around the tree. So I've got the long end here and I've got the working end here. And I'm simply going to take this, wrap it around itself and upon itself. And the portion that is wrapped upon itself, I'm going to put on the opposite side of the tree so that it has tension on it. And then I can pull with tension here. Now this is not what I would consider a, uh, a way that I would use this rope to to hang my life off of this rope right here, but this is going to create a lot of tension and it's going to stay. And the cool thing about it is that when I need to just pick up and go, I grab my end of my rope that's loose here. And it's done. So again, just wrap the rope around itself. And I'm trying to do this big so y'all can see it. <laughs> And it's done. So what we're going to look at now is a couple of what most people call half hitches. And so we're going to utilize it in the same way. We're going to use this tree as our base. And we just simply take our rope, wrap it around again, lay it on top of itself, pull that up through the hole, lay it on top of itself, pull that through that hole. And you've got two half hitches. And this knot's pretty secure. This is not the best knot, but this could, uh, you could hang off of something rather easily with this. I'm not saying this for climbers. I'm just saying for basic survival methodology and camping and so of that nature. The other cool part about this one is, uh, and this is true of most knots, you usually see some sort of loop. Uh, easiest way to call it is a loop on top of the knot. And you do your best to push it back over top of itself and that'll usually loosen most knots up so they're easily to get undone. So same knot with a different setup and this provides more tension so that the rope doesn't slip as, as easily. So, and I use this one a lot. All you do is take your rope again, wrap it around the tree. So now you've got more, you've got more tension on the rope because it's wrapped around the tree and snugging against it. And then you're going to do the same thing that you did before. So now you've got not only the knot, the knot itself, but you've got the rope that is wrapped around the tree for tension as well. And now you've got a really secure setup tied to this tree. And again, this is not for climbers. This is for just basic camping or survival methodology. Again, take my, take my loop, tug and pull knot comes off rather easily. Okay, the next one I'm gonna do for you is a clove hitch. I think I can do this tree's kind of big to show this one easily, but but I take my working in here, put it underneath of my piece, wrap all the way around the tree, 
and then where I just wrapped it, again, where I just wrapped it, I take it back underneath of that, and we have us a clove hitch. And again, tension pulls this, and it's pretty strong knot, but you've got to make sure that the tension is in this direction because it will not work very well on the diagonal see what i mean i want to make sure that the tension is perpendicular to where it is that we're tying off strong tension here the tension's pulled against the knot itself but as soon as i get diagonal this loosens up so that's good when it's time to untie the rope comes off rather easily so there you go. That's um, uh, what I would call quick and dirty methodologies for tying a rope to something such as a tree so you can pull tension. And again, what we could utilize this for is we could uh, create a ridge line for a, for a lean-to setup. We could hang a rope here to hang lanterns off of. We could tie this to hang gear off of. Just something that we can run the rope between two trees. And it's easy to put up and easy to take down and literally can be done and 10 15 seconds so again we looked at three different knots the last two are half hitches or the the second one was what we call two half hitches and the third one is a clove hitch and those are two really simple methodologies for uh, tying off to a pole or a tree or something of that nature till next time i hope to see you on or off the trail mm -hmm.